Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review. And today we're reviewing the DC Multiverse Pace Punchers Brainiac. Well, technically Brainiac droid, because it's not really Brainiac, but still counts. The painting and sculpture in this action figure is absolutely amazing. Now, here's the thing. It isn't just silver. Alright, it's little hints of dried brown. It, like really look at it really looks like a rusted robot. Also has some marbling on it, which just looks cool. I don't know if that's the right term. The point is, it looks really cool. Along with the per the pink, I, I want to say pink, it looks pink to me, on the his chest and his eyes and the Brainiac signal on top of him. Like, I understand this isn't Brainiac, but if this was just Brainiac, you know, just Brainiac's brain and a robot, I'd accept it. In fact, that's, that's just it. That's who this is to me. It's not a Brainiac droid. It's Brainiac. His back as well has so much, it, like this thing has so much detail that it's ridiculous. It looks really good, man. It looks really good. I, I personally think like, but me personally, I think this might be the best Brainiac DC multiverse. And I'm pretty sure they only made it like what? One from Injustice? Man, compare that to this, man. It, it's hard because it's either you want a full body Brainiac or you want a really good looking design wise Brainiac, which is why I like Page Punchers because it allows them to go outside the books with designs and I really like the design of Brainiac. The purple in his eyes along with his big brain with all the marbling, like all of this thing just looks so good, man. I can't say anything else. And if anyone's wondering if I sound congested or stuffed up, it's because I am. I, I think I might be getting sick. But anyway, for accessories, it comes with his standard DC Multiverse stand and card with his, well, not origin, but definitely what's going on in the page punchers in the back. Uh, go ahead and pause and read that if you want to. And of course, since this is a page puncher, it also comes with a comic book with a really cool cover, I have to add. It looks really nice, really cool, really, really nice. Really cool. I'm not making sense. Also, for anyone who's wondering, Page Punchers are basically the uh, DC Multiverse selling action figures, but they're also selling comic books. But the difference with this one is that, unlike the other Page Punchers where every action figure came with the same comic book, this one comes with different parts of the story. So it's four out of four. So Brainiac comes with the last page. Also, I don't know if you could count this as accessories, but you could pretty much take every single tentacle, even that little axe thing that Brainiac has, off of him, and like reassemble. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You could take them apart and put them back together in any way you want, and it's I really, really like that. That's a cool. It's a cool thing to add in. You know what I mean? It's really cool, really nice. I like it. I really do. Like, cause the thing is. Like I said, this isn't Brainiac. This is a Brainiac droid. Like, um, like you know, the soldiers that he make to evade planets and stuff. So you can buy a bunch of these guys and just mix match them. You know? And it's just really cool that they, you know, really put in there like that. I just wish, you know, I was able to get Superman, both of them. Because they were at Target along with Brainiac. But I was like, I'm going to get Brainiac first. And then when I went back to get Superman, at least one of them they weren't there so yeah i don't know if i have to hunt them down but i want to finish it because i got the comic book but the point is this action figure is really cool and the fact that you can take all the tentacles and stuff off his back is really cool as well it's a really nice little hint on what you could do with it and you can really make this brainiac unique but i'm not gonna really test out the the way you could take him apart i'm just gonna keep him the way he is um from the um picture the, uh, the picture on Instagram because I like that combination of them and I just like this version of Brainiac if they may had another version like this but he had his actual head and stuff that'd be perfect but I don't know if I can find that for comparisons we have page punches Superman I said it once I'll say it again fight me all right fight me I don't know if the other Superman movie is gonna be good I don't care that suit looks awesome when they make an action figure of that suit I will be the first one to review it and if I'm not I damn will be the second anyway for next comparisons, we have comic book um, General Zod, which looks really nice. I believe they're working together in My Adventures with Superman, which is, I really like that show. I love, I love that show. What do you mean? It came out, I think it came out a couple of months after The Owl House, so that's why I like it a lot. But enough with that, let's go straight into the articulation. Now, this guy is lanky, 
but that doesn't mean he isn't movable. This guy is movable. You can get him in a lot of poses. I couldn't, because, like I said, I, I don't know if this is a sickness or whatever, but whatever the case, um, I'm definitely getting sick. And I couldn't put him as many poses that I normally could, but it doesn't change the fact that this action figure is getting good. It's look, it looks nice, man. And you can move it any way you want. I do hate the fact that the little axe thing doesn't really have a swivel, but that's okay. That's not really a big deal to me. Um, but yeah, no, this thing's good. I like, I, I don't know why, but I really like this Brainiac. At first, when I opened him up, I was like, ah, he's too lanky. I can't get him into a fight pose or something. But then I realized, like, the more I started playing with him, the more I realized how much, what's the word, um opportunities I have with this guy like I can put him in a lot of poses do a lot of things with this version of Brainiac droid Brainiac droid uh, apparently but it's still just it just looks cool man I really do like it and the articulation is <laughs> this thing is just awesome it actually got me excited for the, the rest of the line but anyway enough of that let's go right into rating for painting and sculpting this thing gets a star it is just silver i'm gonna I'm tell you that it is just silver but the way they mix the silver with different colors to make the thing look rusted but not rusted working but not working is just amazing yeah, i really like that for our accessories and articulation it gets a star the thing is lanky but it can move and the fact that you could take everything out and put it in different places that's really cool as well and for pricing, which is $24.25, I give this thing three stars. Now, I know people are going to be mad like, oh, you gave him three stars, but you didn't give Aquaman three stars. Well, I did. Three stars and a half, which is still three stars. But it doesn't change the fact that this Brainiac is really cool. And if you do find him out in the wild, I do recommend it. And if you want to buy an action figure and get some comic book stuff with it, like a free comic book, then man, get it. Get it. Because I like page punchers because of the stories. But this, 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 this version of Page Punchers, I gotta get all the figures to complete the story. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I'll, you'll see all the action figures on here by the time you see them. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, give me a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. The next review will either be Assassin Spider-Man or Ben Affleck's Batman from Batman v Superman. I don't care what you say. He had potential. He was gonna be the best Batman. They, but I don't care what you say. Fuck Alison Howard and fuck all the. It's eight. It's eight minus four. You take the four away from it.